Ooh, we're live. We're live. You're live. Hey, everybody. Hope you guys are having a good Tuesday night. You got your, I guess, streaming host, Jono, also known as a Burnt Banana T86. I am your host for tonight, I guess. Uh, if you guys don't know me, I am the growth manager at Linus Media Group and also the short circuit channel manager. And also, guys, who just does a lot of things. Uh, but in my spare time, I like to play video games, the video games, playing Apex lately. I'll tell you about that, about, uh, about that a little bit more in a bit. Uh, but also, you know, I do like to open Pokemon cards. Uh, Colton Caltane Potter got me into the hobby, as he kind of mentioned it. He's like, I spent this much money on Pokemon cards. And, you know... Oh, I'm that guy from LTT. Of course I am. And yeah, they're based enough. Kind of got into it, got really interested. As the story is, is that I I really liked Pokemon as a kid, but didn't really have that much cash. My family didn't have that much cash, at least at that time growing up. Uh, bootstrap, pay to check, pay check. And my friend gave me a... Let me just move this up, like, up a little bit. I feel like I'm slouching. Uh, gave me his Game Boy, really nice of him, and then my parents bought me a Pokemon, the blue version, <laughs> the OG version, where it didn't really matter what the color of your cartridge is, but everyone will judge you if the team red, blue, or I think that was green, I think that was green, not too sure, can't remember, it's been a long time. So, never got into a Pokemon card game, but also now, you know, mid-30s. You know, I have a full time paying job, no children. I do have a dog, a wife, and a house. So I have some what's called disposable income. So I got Pokemon cards. <laughs> so I do Pokemon card unboxings here. But here's the thing is that I don't like to do it by myself. Opening Pokemon cards, to me at least, at least for my personal enjoyment, is, you know, half of it's opening up, but honestly, it's not even half. It's like, 90% opening it with you guys. So I do appreciate all you guys for joining me tonight. And we're going to open up some cards. And we got something kind of spicy. Spicy interesting tonight. As I did just get a box of Vivid Voltage. My Currently my favorite favorite set. But maybe I'm a bit biased because that's the set I got into. Um, but uh, yeah, you know. Just a little bit sus. We're a little sus tonight because of the fact that the cards I got, or at least the box, felt a little bit funky. And just give me one sec. I got a message a couple of people. I forgot to tell them I'm streaming. And maybe they even want to join and watch me. So, anyways, why do that? Tell me. Tell me, guys. Oh, how is your night? How is your day? Are you guys having a good day? Bad day? Tell me. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Yeah, you know, good, good day. It was a busy day. Whew. Well, every day is a busy day at LMG, but, uh, you know, get got through it. Got through it. Whew. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I think it's uh, safe for me to do start, you know, just, just having some fun. So a couple of weeks ago, me being on eBay, me being kind of like a dum-dum, I basically... Burpy today. Uh, basically, enough, I was searching, seeing some good deals, and I saw this uh, Vivid Voltage box just there. The, the price that I'm willing to pay for, you know, I do currently. I had before this, I had two Vivid Voltage boxes that I was saving one, and I'm gonna open one for the stream because you know, content. And I was like, you know, it's not a bad price, free shipping. I might as well just, uh, just open it you know was, i want to i want to see i want to see what's up and i bought it I, I well it was a bid and i was the only bid i was like oh i'm screwed because <laughs> it was uh 250 dollars canadian uh it's quite a bit a boost of auction only really be like 130 but for vivid voltage right now 
it's a little bit spicy pricey no spicy pricey so but anyways i was just like ah oh, screw it i'll just buy it and because you know i want to open up cards with you guys 250 bucks is 250 bucks 250 bucks 250 bucks but i did i did buy it with bitcoin so i bid on it and then it was like a whole week no other bids i was like oh my god i'm gonna get this because i also assume that's gonna go up 250 dollar box other places are selling for 300 bucks so it got to like the zero hour where i got tvs and one regular hair if you want them i mean what's that tell me what's that um so it was a critical i was like oh god i'm gonna win this i checked the seller he had zero <laughs> He had zero feedback. And I'm like, oh my God, I am screwed. This box is fake. I am done. Oh no. And, and lo and behold, I won. <laughs> I was like, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I bought a fake box. I'm done. It's Yeah, it is vivid voltage. So I expected someone to bid. <laughs> at least five bucks to beat me but it was zero and dumpy yeah like literally actually dumpy maybe creepy wants those cards oh three v's wait what v's tell me what v's um but anyways um yeah so i was like oh no so you know ebay you, you can't really back out you can but you have to lie about it which i don't think is right and you know, if I was starting off and had zero feedback and someone won, I'm like, hell yeah. And someone backs out, I'd be like, shit. It'd be kind of uh, what we like to say, scummy. So anyways, let me let me get back to it. You know, I'm kind of kind of diverging. So he emails me. It was like a Saturday one. He's like, oh, I can't really ship it out until Monday because of, uh, you know, weather and I'm in Nova Scotia. Oh, sorry. I gave it away. I was like, oh, God, it sounds even worse. But it was like Saturday. It's like, yeah, East Coast does get more snow than we do. So anyways, he ships it on Monday and gives me this weird tracking of a USPS one. Canada is all numerical. This USPS ones are kind of like, you know, they have numbers and alphanumeric characters. Yeah, Spider Lily's like, it literally sounds like a scam. But he's like, I'm like, oh no, like I told like he's putting out a fake tracking number. So he shipped his buddy like a two dollar item. And my money well, my money's own guy. I bought it through PayPal. Bought it through PayPal. So there is some sort of guarantee. Then he emails me, he's like, Oh, I'm so sorry, I used the wrong tracking number. Here's your tracking number. And I was like, Okay, okay. Oh no. <laughs> I was so scared. And then you know, it's sort of progressing and it stops. The tracking number stops when it's in transit. So I was kind of used to that. And then lo and behold, on Saturday today, I was like just getting the mail, you know, taxis. And I want to make sure I have all my tax slips. And then boom, this box comes in. I get a box. I can't show all the sides. Yeah, like here. I got this box. And I was like, oh, cool. Like, that is actually a legit sweet box for booster boxes. Because that's the size. That is the size. And I was like, okay, maybe I'll get, like, th at least th if I get 36 Vivid Voltage on a box, I, I won't be too heartbroken. But I opened it up. I opened it up. And bam. It did come. I think this is it. No. No, this is my example box. Whoops. <laughs> this is my example box. Wait, is it? Oh no, did I switch them? Yeah, yeah, okay. No, that was my example box. Boom, box came in. And I was like, oh, I didn't get, I didn't get, uh, I didn't get ripped off. Rad, wicked. But then, you know, you always gotta do like a little bit more of a test. You can't just look at it. You have to inspect it. So let me just switch the camera here. So, with a with a official Pokemon box, you have all sorts of different indicators uh, to make sure that you did not get ripped off. First things first, does it look like the real thing? And from my knowledge, yes. Like, the light's not that great in here, guys. You guys know that. But if you put it, this is the real one, my left hand. The right one, 
this is the what i think is fakey um you know like colors match like first thing is that the colors are very hard to match apparently like the fake ones have a really bright contrasty colors because they use cheap ink to match it uh, but everything else like looked checked out i was like i read the whole copy on the back everything matched up granted you can kind of photocopy that but everything's good i even checked the upc or up upc code everything's matched but you can copy that and i was like oh maybe this is real rad but then i did this i did this i checked the sides i checked the sides and i'm like because you do that 360 inspection look at that okay real left one is real it's green right one is purple this is when my alarms started kind of going off i'm like oh this is fake they they totally resealed this box those effers and they put like other another set a cheaper set actually all pokemon cards cost the same now because just popularity um because here's the thing let me just show you an example i got a cardboard pack let's open this one up i'm not going to open the pack yet um so here's this is the reason why i think it's fake when you look at a pack and when these boxes get opened they sit like this i know this it's purple i know i know i know those those, those more to the stories i know those stories so on the right side it should be green it should be green therefore the real box i have is right right it sits like this and then on the other side you know it's roughly the same and i was like okay the, the, the real one is real it is 100 i know it's 100 percent real because the place i bought it from it has been doing business for years that i know i you know i've heard people who bought them say like oh yeah they're a really good source like don't worry about it yeah like i think like a hundred thousand positive reviews so i was like zero concerns about that place but this place had zero reviews this is kind of sus right but then you know i contacted the buddies at infinitycards.ca and i'm like dude did i get ripped off and he's like i don't know you does not like you have to weigh them and i was kind of like okay wait i'm like yeah like they feel the same actually you know what maybe i'll bust up the, the scale before i open it he's like yeah like if they feel the same those should be okay but we have seen some weird stuff before like half the packs here are like flipped and stuff and i was like oh that's weird because here's my reason why it's like it could be flipped it could be upside down it could be like this like the should be packed like this but it could be packed like this but here's my reason why that's weird is that because these are technically made to be on store shelves or behind the counter or something and then you pop it open i'll show you how it is and you have all these singles just like kind of like candy right and you just like pick one or you take one for the customer or whatever so they should be right side up you should be right side up they shouldn't be like this this is just sloppy but then i got to work because i found that i kind of looked this up in the morning and then chase is like you know one thing i notice is i you know me being a bonehead is that these pokemon symbols are upside down so i was like oh no that's bad he's like but he's like don't worry because he collects magic cards and he he's seen this happen before is that packs can be upside down the wraps can be upside down so he's like all it could be is that whoever packed it that day just packed it upside down literally just shoved the cards because they you know people who work at the pokemon factory maybe might not really understand and also it's an assembly line job they're doing it like eight hours a day so you get a little bit brain dead i've done assembly work you literally step in to the roll first five minutes you're kind of like okay i got it and then you literally just turn your brain off and you're just kind of like in the motion so literally you could have that issue so yeah so i'm kind of like 60 percent like i'm no actually you know 70 percent. this is real but we're going to still open it up. I wasn't planning to open this up, but I was like, you know what? This will make good content. This would be kind of, you know, this would be kind of um, 
a good a good show. I'm not gonna open up all the packs. I'm gonna do what I stand to do about twelve per night. But you know, it's kind of like I need to find out because usually enough I would keep I probably I wanted to keep two vivid voltage box for my collection for like ten years and see what happens. Maybe I can maybe I could be like Logan Paul and sell each pack for forty thousand dollars and make like one point two even though he paid three hundred thousand dollars. Like, hey man, that's super smart. Um you know, people make mistakes like you. Yeah. I feel like it's real. Yeah. Yeah, mod should do approve. Real fake. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what my mod is. <laughs> so I think he's playing Beat Saber, so that's fine. You know, we, we'll just jank. I don't pay my mods yet. Maybe one day. Um, but, yeah. Uh, the one thing, too, is I did contact the seller. I did contact the seller. And let me just open it up. You know, I have a whole thread going... Uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I received the box sealed. So that's great. But there's something strange about it. Why are the packs purple on the right side of the box? The pack should be green. He goes, hello. I'm glad you got the package safely. I'm not hundred percent sure why the packs may not be a certain color on one side. I looked up a couple different blah, blah, blah. And you know, some of them are like mine. I'm like, yeah, well I bought one from the store I go to. And you know, this is not a witch hunt. I'm not trying to. I am not trying to like go witch hunting. I just want to know I bought my place from reputable things because I don't ultimately what happens is what happens when you buy fake and the guy is actually legit. Let's just say he's legit. He then bought packs from uh, this box from a fake and it kind of like it trickles. It's kind of like a reverse waterfall. You kind of have to see where it comes from. And it's just it could be like a whole waterfall of sh shite and it's not great. So you kind of like work through the system, kind of go up. And then ultimately what happens is that, you know, someone out there made a whole bunch of money or maybe just marginally because it's just it's always incremental because everyone marks up the price. Um, but, yeah, I just want to kind of like go through the experience because Pokemon's crazy. It's really super popular right now. Uh, wait, depends on the stream. But, yeah. Uh, okay. Molly. Three. People pay mods. Yeah, some people pay mods. Well, like like the big guys, like um, Disrespect, you know, G1. Like, you know, it's it's a paid position sometimes. I've heard. Uh, firewall. Uh, firewall. Firewall says this. The fact that the wrap and cards are being upside down tells you as autopilot assembly person may change orientation and didn't adjust. We've done a lot of assemblies, 24 flats and 15 pack boxes and attempt to get the right side, but also doesn't shooting the shit. Yeah, like that's why I'm kind of figuring it's like, oh, okay, you know, maybe this is legit, but it's just the case of with Pokemon being so crazy. And I've gone to AliExpress because I was just curious. I'm like, you know, how much is like a fake box? Because <laughs> it's just funny thinking about it. Do you think AliExpress has real stuff? It could be real, but it's not like the legit, like going to apple.com. It's probably the same manufacturer. It's probably like real like, but is it real when you buy it from someone who bought the scraps from the manufacturing plant? I don't know. It doesn't carry the same warranty, of course. But um, yeah, uh, all I'm really trying to do is just kind of want to not, we're not witch hunting, but it's just the fact that with Pokemon being so popular, there are fakes and they're like 22 bucks. So someone out there bought it for 22 bucks, sold it for probably 100 bucks. So that's an $80, you know, buff. Then someone sold that 100 bucks maybe to a distributor, trick those guys or even to a retail. So it was 150 bucks floating around maybe. Oh no, actually like $230 floating around that someone just made because he just fired up his printing machine and went, Whoosh. granted, it's really hard to make fakes, especially Pokemon. So ultimately the guy's like, no, no, I bought, I bought the cards from a legitimate distributor i'll show you proof blah 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 and i was like yeah that's fine um you know i i'm not trying to like push i wasn't being pushy to the guy i'm like this is my side this is why i'm concerned it's this this and this and this and he's like yeah totally get that um but i said like, i am gonna open up on stream to see if they're re a real fake um but hey you know he might actually be here too <laughs> so that's kind of cool uh but anyways yeah it's just me, I just don't want to have this box. The reason why, the real reason why I want to open this box is that I don't want to live with this box in my closet. Me always wondering 
is that a fake box? Because let's just say 10 years down the road, I don't want to sell this box. And my inkling going, it could be fake. That sucks. Like, that really sucks. I don't want to sell a guy a fake box because that will just ultimately ruin that person's day and my day. Because let's just say I like I was a scumbag and I just sold it going, <laughs> it might be fake. Let's just say, like, this is like first edition boxes. I sold it for $200,000. That person will find out it's fake because by that time, supply is so limited. And then those like people with microscopes going, yes, this is fake. It's just going to come back to me. I'm going to get screwed. And I can't go back to the seller because he's probably moved on or who knows? Maybe he's big. Um, yeah. So, I mean, I didn't want to live with this. So, you know, I'm not going to ask the guy for the, my money back. I thought this would make a good fun stream for us to watch. So let's just take a look, you know? So Jono today is going to open up a vivid voltage box. And, you know, we're not going to open it all. We're going to do the same thing, 12 cards, and just have a fire. By wall, yeah. I mean, sometimes chat can go zoom. I don't know. Uh, that's pretty shitty. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it can. I don't know. I'm just a boy, a poor boy who does nothing. Oh, a poor boy who just opens up Pokemon cards. But anyways, we have 14 people here. I'm doing story time. I just want to have some fun. Oh, hydrate. Dumpy, thank you for keeping me alive. Mm. I did have adjust I did have to adjust my points a little bit. Because I think Nolan I had say Nolan for 15 a thousand at a time. I bumped it up to fifteen hundred, I think. I can't remember. I did make one for Madison or soup uh because whatever the co-workers we have fun and <laughs> she does worry worse things than me no nah, just joking madison you were watching how you doing um and then i had to bump cadence's treat way up i'm like a thousand is too cheap because i you know i don't want i don't want my dog to get sick oh my god contributed two thousand <laughs> oh no where did my doggy go one sec okay wait one sec let me explain she just came back from daycare so she might be a little bit grumpy uh one sec just give me one sec guys This here. No, my name is Katie. What's what's tripping? creepy just like just just blew it all i should have put it at 20k <laughs> she's a heavy puppy she's like 75 70 pounds Ooh. um uh abby nav neck i hope i pronounced it right is hunting with us thank you for the follow chat can we get some love in here welcoming our new hunting member into our hunting party welcome 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 yeah, i'm doing good hopefully not you missed the whole time story but tldr we're gonna open a booster box because i don't want a fake booster box in my collection well 60 like probably like 70 80 percent you know me talking it out loud and talking to chase about it we're pretty we're pretty confident this is real but i just don't want that 20 percent of me always wondering every day that's just fake so we're gonna open it up we're doing 12 packs only and hopefully enough we get something good 
provided it's real. <laughs> If I open this up and this is fake, I'm going to be super bummed. Usually if you can see me like being like, yeah, I'm actually going to be like. Uh. <laughs> Granted, that guy is uh, going to have um, you're going to have a conversation about him. Orbital V, Togekiss V, Talonflame V. Honestly, I might have to take you up on the Togekiss V because I only have the V maxes. So, don't we'll talk. All right, ways. I'm going to get the knife out. Oh, wait. Should, I'm going to make this in the main cam. And unlike short circuit, I have a knife. And we cut, made the cut. So on instantly, the value of this box has gone down. So if I was only going to sell this, it would be single booster packs, which kind of sucks. I was literally fighting your account. Yo, dude, like, uh, just follow me on Twitch. Oh, not Twitch. Follow me on Twitter. Are you the guy who sold me this box? Because I, the guy said that he was going to come and check me out. Huh. Health and safety. No, not health and safety. It's just me being a dork. Cool. Yeah, but anyway, see, man. Oh, it's all good. If he did sell me the box, cool. the guy said he was going to join me, so maybe. But yeah, no, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Ah, crud. All these people just like messaging me. No, this is this is Jono and chat time. Opening up Pokemon cards. All right, guys. We got, we got the box. Let's see what's happening. Maybe it's upside down. Three, two, one. It's upside down. They're real. For now, I don't know. Anyways, let me let me show you what happens. So, you take this, and then you fold it in, push it down, and usually enough, Zerud will pop up. Oh, I guess he's not doing it. All right. Well, anyways, we're gonna leave it like that. So they're real. So it is it is upside down. No worries. Makes me feel a little bit better. Let's take a look. So they're real. Awesome. Uh oh, for now. So let's. So here's the real one I got from from a local store. That 100% is real. If they didn't, that'd be a big problem. Um, yeah. They look the same. You know. Let's take a look. I see no issues. UPC codes match 497. Usually enough, you can kind of like look closer. And then you look under the wrapper. You know, looks like uh, we're good. You know, looks like we're good. All right. So, anyways, um, wow, that's <laughs> that was really anticlimactic. Like. Because it's real, but you know what? The real test is, um, you know, the real test is if uh, we get some good pulls, I guess. I don't know. Um, let me just check here. Oop, I think I turned it off. Oh, man, it doesn't do it. <sighs> let, me, let me just change this. All right, we got the hit list. So these are the cards, roughly what I'm looking for on Vivid Voltage. So hopefully enough, we pull something good tonight. And we're going to start with this pack here and we're gonna see what's in there uh, Ooh, we got Celebi uh, pack art which I really like I really like Celebi's art like it's, it's pretty it's pretty how like you like the kids say is dank code card if you collect all right guys we're gonna start off with a lean hearts oh what the heck Caltane Keltian's in the house, everybody. Welcome him. He is our business developer manager at Linus Media Group and fellow Pokemon collector. Everyone, welcome. Keltian, how are you doing? We established that they're real. So, meh. Wait, uh. All right, cool. Let's go. Let's guess... I'm doing good. We established that the reason why the pack art was a bit weird is that they're upside down. 
So, the goof up was some guy manufacturing. That's pretty sweet. All right, let's guess the energy. I'm going to say it's fire. No, no, electric. I want, I want Pikachu. Fire. Oh, I should have said kept the fire. <laughs> John is a dum-dum. Who knew? Who knew? Fire. We got Sableye, Galvantula, Gogurt, Melsiri, into your glaring Meowth, Chimeco, Blitzel, Slugma, into a Moo Moo Cheese. The Moo Moo Cheese goes into a fortress. <laughs> it's regular rare. I don't get too excited with regular rares anymore. Especially with a set I've like 90%. Collected. Ooh, Spiralities, thank you for the follow. Thank you for hunting with us today. And you have just now one of the new uh, new members in the hunting pack. And I totally brain farted there. I was like, what do we call this? Hunting pack? I don't know. It's, it's late. I had a long day. <laughs> so thank you so much. Chat, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Anyways, let's do another pack. We're going to do 13 today. Yeah, you. we'd be worried with Colton, if the meme of him being fired. I'd be worried when we stop doing that joke. Colton, you should be worried when we stop. Code card. Wait, what? The, yeah, they haven't. No, I ha actually went to that same McDonald's today. They still haven't. Uh, they haven't fixed it. Anyways, I'm gonna guess a lightning, guys. Oh, it's a leaf. Leaf. Opal. Matang. Execute. Eevee. I love that art. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. We got Woobat into our rare Kuda. We got a C dot into Diancy. Reverse holographic, guys. And we're going to crack it. Mm, nothing. It's not a fortress. Come on. Ma. These cards might, must be fake. I got a Dancy into a fortress again. It's like a Mimikyu. All right. I got four in the next packs. Boom. Oh, we got all of them chat except for the pikachu we'll save that one last which one do i open <clears throat> oops sorry i burped into the thing all right celebi all right you got it you got it dumpy oh that pack was super easy oh it's just like a zipper it just came right out Boom. It was, how, are you, how are you guys doing? You know, we got so many people here. We're hanging out. We're just doing things. And chat, if you guys are worrying, you guys are new here. We established that it is a real pack. Because my suspicion and Chase, actually Chase was 100% right. Well, he does do ma magic and he's opened up a lot more packs. Different game, but he knows the industry. It's just upside down. So that mystery solved. So we're just gonna keep opening Pokemon cards. We're not doing a whole booster pack tonight, but you know, we're just we're just having fun. Four, yeah. All right, we're gonna guess energy. I'm gonna say lightning until I get it. Psychic. I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> Coding energy. Shuckle. Beldum. Melsery. Wooper. Ninkata. Wishmer. Into a reverse holographic. Opal. Ooh. Ooh, we got a Tornadus holographic rare. It's looking good. And Spider Lilies. Hey, Achi Chat, uh, we forgot to welcome Spider Lily. So, welcome, Spider Lilies. Thank you for joining us. Actually, wait, no, I think I did. Oh, man. Long day. Where do you buy all your cards? I buy it from several locations locally and also across Canada. Depends on where you are. But uh, locally for me, I go to infinitycards.ca. That's like my number one place. Then I go to 41games.ca, Zephyr Epic, and etc. There's a lot of places else in the States. But actually in the States, you guys are like, like 
I guess a little bit more lucky because you have Target, you have Walmart, you have even dollar stores have Pokemon cards. They only have come through in a pack, but you guys are just so much more lucky with selection. Oh my God, I haven't thought about the saddle seats forever. Yeah, like the, I, I know exactly. I just had goosebumps when you said it. Have you tried Game Stars? I don't know. No, I haven't. I will check it out after the stream because you know what happens after the stream? I'll take a photo about it later. Actually, no, I have a bucket system. It's a lot cleaner now. I usually not have to like collect all their cards and put into like specific buckets and then count them out. I just put them in buckets and just sort it out like next day. Hmm. Pack art. The only, I, the only thing that sucks I hate is that um, the um, the packs, the, the packs themselves on plastic and you have to throw those away. Game stars. Really? Huh, Polly? I will check that out. Thank you for the tip. Alright, we're gonna guess um Lightning. Yeah! Got it, chat. You know what that means? We're gonna get something good. Hopefully enough, it's you know, Marty. Oh no, this is Vanessa. Pokemon I would love to get Pokemon Center Lady. She's the true chat of Pokemon. Healing Pokemon all day. And I don't think she charges too. Bay. Galarian Meowth, Duskull, into a Voltorb, a Weedle, into a Drillbur, into a Bay, Verse Holographic. Ooh, we got to a regular rare, a Mudsdale. Nothing, nothing too great. Nothing too great tonight, but we're only like halfway through, so maybe the Pokemon cards are hiding in the back? I don't know. Anyways, welcome to my stream or our stream, you know? I don't do it for me. I do it for with you guys. And we're having fun. You know, you're watching watching a grown man open Pokemon cards, fire. Um, and yeah, we're just having a good time. You know, tell me about your day. Tell me how it's going. Have you guys are you guys buying Pokemon too or are you just watching me do it? I will suffer for, for the views. <laughs> Shouldn't say that. Yanma into a Dusclops. Hmm. Into another rare. Into a crab up. Man, this is it's not looking good. It's not looking good. I'm not like those Pokemon tubers who magically get like four rainbow rares in a row. I don't know how. Granted, right, they do open more packs than I do. So, yeah. And also, don't forget, guys, all you new people, too. If you see me pull, like, a crud car, so also known as a, not really crud, but if I get a regular rare, just give me a solitite F. <laughs> just one F. If it's a holographic rare, don't don't push F, because that's no good cards. It's worth a nickel. <laughs> uh, all right. Chonkachu. Please, please be, please be the rainbow rare Pikachu. I just want to see one in person and have it in my possession. So technically, I guess either I'll have to buy one at full retail. And they go for 400 Canadian or $300 American roughly. Ugh. Oh my God. What is up with this pack? Ugh, come on. Come on, ma. Me. Help me. <laughs> Ugh. Come on. Mm. Boom. There we go. And the cool thing, the reason why I like Viv Voltage is that they have cards, what's called Amazing Rare. So, I'll show you. Um, so, sometimes when you open a pack, you get a what's called a solid green card. So, that means, don't I try not to look at them when I open, like I go like this. This is the reason why I'm really careful with this card is that when I do that, I don't want to see the back because if it's solid green, most cases is that the last card, the ones that we always go for, but that's why I do the magic trick. That will be what's called a regular rare. So like this, it's a rare card. It's a good card. It's just that I'm looking for the shiny, the shiny, the art to be shiny, or at least everything else to be shiny. Or oh, special types of cards. They just look different. They look really cool. Um, but yeah, like that's what I'm just hoping. Ooh, I think I see something. Um, 
but yeah but with vivid voltage because they have the amazing rares and that's just like the pack art looks really cool uh the like you still have a chance if it's like a regular uh rainbow rare so hopefully enough we get something tonight yeah they all look fake so far i'm just getting bad pulls fighting fighting because pikachu wants me to keep fighting on where are you pikachu where are you Sableye, we get to a Drillber, into a Wilmer, into a Cottony, Clobobus, Electrike. Ooh! Come out! <laughs> I got, wait. Woohoo! Yo, dude! I knew something was good! So we got a Zamazenta! Amazing rare! That's oh my god, it's such a beautiful card. Look at that chat. Let me oh my god. Oh my god, this is this is this is what I do. This is why I get up at night. Oh uh, morning. Ooh, look at that. It's so pretty. I already have one, but I will take doubles. I will gladly take doubles of this. Knack, this is exactly why I do this. <laughs> because you just pull these cards and you just kind of lose your sh shite. And it's just, these cards are just beautiful. Like, they, they will put in work. I, but granted, I will show you the cards I really don't like. This is because, you know, they did just as much work, but they just don't look as good. Uh, 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 uh. Let's take a look. We also do kind of like grading. Well, this is Jono's non professional grading services. Um, all right, so when you get cards graded, it's kind of like the official seal that this is a real card, first thing. Second thing, they'll talk, take a look at the quality of the card and grade it out of 10. PSA does it out of 10, Beckett does a 10, but Beckett does a little bit different. They are a little bit more crucial. So Beckett will go nine, like one to, one to 10. Beckett will go half points. So you can get 10, which is a black label, which is super cool. And then you get like half points, 9.5s and 9s, 8.5s, etc. So they will look at four different things. Surface, is there any major scratches or scratches in general? Centering, so that means how far it is inside here. Like, so the border, everything's equal. Corners and edges. And corners and edges are easily enough you can find them is here. And you can't see anything here, but let's just, let me get an energy. Let me get an energy. Let me just scrap it up. It's an energy, whatever. So I'm just using for example. So this is not a 10. Uh, surface is screwed. Um, the edges here, you can see the edges here. If it's looking like that, it's a zero. <laughs> but yeah, it's, um, yeah. What mic is that? This is a Miano, $120. Is it good? Everyone says it's really good. Well, sounds good. It's like just, it's not, it's a USB mic. So that's one a lot of people are saying that it's not good get xr but i'm like yeah we do these cheap streams are cheap because pokemon cards are expensive and hey guys that sounds fantastic yeah it's great mayano it's legit it's fine like I, I watch a woman unbox it hey guys i do i run short circuit unboxing channel and i watch unboxing videos myself gotta learn but also i like to buy things too so it's nothing new. All right, guys. Here's another four set. All right. Other than the Pikachu, because Pikachu actually paid off last time. Chunkachu paid off three. Which one, guys? Tell me, what would you guys want me to pick tonight? We got Celebi, we got Zerud, and Orbital. I am the growth manager and the channel manager for Short Circuit. That's why you see me in the videos all the time. I'm actually on set, actually just making sure no one does anything weird. Celebi again. Neck, you got it.
Alright. Should we unbox a car on Short Circuit? We got a code card. And we're going to do the Guess the Energy game patented by Leonhart. One of my favorite YouTubers. Uh, I'm going to say Lightning because I want, I, want, I want Pikachu. Hero's Metal, Galarian Stunfish, Sableye. Oh, cool. Thanks, man. Thanks, Polly. Glad you like it. You know, we do a lot of work. Like, Well, not a lot of work. Not comparison to LTT, but we kind of like shoot from the hip. But we we do when we try to film it, we try to do our best. Like I will ask questions, like if I was sitting with you, I'm like, how much is it? Is that Intel processor good? And then read all the comments going, oh, I would buy if it was an AMD processor. I'm like, I get it. AMD is better now, better value. But um, eh. I use I use an LG Gram that has an Intel processor. Honestly, I can't tell the difference. But granted, my use cases is just like Excel. Chrome, Google Drive, and web conference calls. So my use case is very different. All right, guys. Oh, oh, oh. You guys see that? You guys see that? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, chat. I need, I need some hype. I need some hype. <laughs> KT, get the camera. Get the camera. I see something good. Get the camera. Let's go. Let's see. Holy, thank you for the bits. This one's for you. A hundred bits. A hundred appreciations. Everyone in the chat, appreciate Polly. A hundred bits. Thank you so much. Let's see. We got to go. Three, two, one. Let's go. <laughs> we... Oh my god! Oh my god! Is my mic dead? I'm so sorry, guys! <laughs> oh my god! Look at that! Oh, we got him! We got the secret rare Leon, which is a rainbow rare, which is a d d dope! Holy shit! Look at that! We can 100% confirm that this box is legit! Oh! Polly, this one's for you! Uh, thank you for the 100 bits, first thing! And thanks to your appreciation. Actually, uh, you know, I can't say all Polly. You know, Polly, I do appreciate you. But it's all of us. All 14 viewers here. Thank you so much for that. I honestly, my God. We got, um, who called it again? Um, wait, who, let me, let me scroll up. Who, who called that card? Um, we got Knack calling the Celebi poll, like, get that Celebi thing. So, wow. Yeah, it's, 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 I have RTX voice because I have a dog too, and my wife comes down here. I'm in the kitchen. I'm literally in the kitchen. I have to move my setup downstairs and I got to wire everything, but uh, that's later. You know, that's later. I'm just literally doing this for fun. Oh. But my God, chat, look at that. Like, like that is a beautiful card. We pulled it. Our hit list, our hit list is good. <laughs> What's up, Polly's girlfriend? Thank you for joining us in the chat. And Polly again, thanks for the 100 bits. I super appreciate it. Because every dollar that you guys invest in me with bits, subs, even just being here and viewing it, because you do unfortunately get an ad. Uh, I turn around and buy things to help improve the stream and also buy cards. 
like this mic after my first affiliate i got a whole bunch of like subs and stuff and i was like you know what i gotta improve the stream self-invest if you guys start a, like anything always self-invest first because it pays off in the end um but oh i can't even open this pack anymore i'm just like so weak i'm so weak after that if i get another good card out of this i will probably just drop and pass out oh my god Woo! Woohoo! All right, chat. Let's see what else is in here. I'm gonna say lightning again because I just I want Pikachu. Ooh, we got metal energy. And we got a swallow. And we got a wash energy. And we got a two Charmeleon who looks pretty fiery. Trubbish, Shuppet, into a Choodle, into a real Eevee, into ooh. I'm so bad. There's something behind here. What's up? Let's get going. We so we got a Ferrothorn reverse holographic. And if you guys don't know, I've probably been pulling this all night. Reverse holographic means everything's shiny, but the art. But let's go. Hey, Colton, get the camera. Get the camera. We got something good. Get mom too. Cadence, you did a good job. Oh, she's sleeping right now. Whoops. All right, we're going to go fast again. Three, two, one. Ooh, Colossal V. It's a good card. I'm not too excited because I already have four. So <laughs> it's better than regular rare. Not as good as the Leon card, but it's still a good card. Oh, I know Colin wants has been eyeing some trades lately. So we got to one day compare notes. Would you guys like to watch us like do a stream together and we compare notes and see who got the better cards and you can see me and Cold actually do negotiations like we do in real life and no jobs. We'll slap on the table going, this one can fit so many colossal V maxes. <laughs> ah, it's rude V. A good day with a V is eh, it's okay. I mean, here's creepy look look uh I mean that creepy yeah firewall look at this. <laughs> We're pulling amazing rare, which is I I don't know if I will ever trade amazing rare because I just love them so much. Then we get a Leon full rainbow secret rare. Oh and then we got a colossal V. Well like, it's alright. <laughs> but I'm down. Cold. I will buy you lunch. And I won't say you're fired for at least a half an hour. Give me that GX Embero Rainbow Rare. And we'll get going. <laughs> Boom. Let's do it. All right, guys. I'm going to just call Lightning. Dark Energy. Ah, uh, Dusclops. Into your Rocky Helmet. Why would you a Rocky Helmet? Goventula Beldum. Blitzel. Into a Melsery into a skiddo who just looks so adorable i got an eevee again i just oh i don't know i would ever get sick of seeing this art this art is like the perfect representation of eevee i don't i would never play eevee because eh, give me pikachu but eevee's good into a hit on top into an executor it's okay it's okay we're just building hype Hey, it makes it, it makes it like the Sunday stream so much worth it. Cause if you were there, chat, I had such garbage polls on Sunday. I still had fun. I still had fun because I was all with you guys or everyone who was in the chat who was there. But yeah, F. Thanks for the F, guys. Um, it just it was just like a bad day. I only had like two good cards, one V Max. You know, I actually wait. Do I still have them here? Yeah, so these are the only thing we pulled on Sunday stream out of like 20 packs. It's pretty rough. There was some holographic rares, but you know, you just you want the big boy cards. Well, not big boy, but you want the pro player cards. All right, Polly. Thank you for dropping by. Thanks for the bits again. Everyone in the chat say oh, bye bye to Polly. But hey, I do stream almost every other day. So follow me on Twitter and you'll see when I stream. 
I'll try to give as much up, uh, heads up. And all you guys, too. If you guys want to hang out and chat, and that's a, a, one of the best ways to get in contact with me, go check the Discord. If Jupe's here, thank Jupe for setting it up. It's a, it's a good time. And Jupe's here. How are you doing, Jupe? Camera's bugging out. I gotta figure something out. I wish EPOC Cam was working for Android, and I'd just use that. All right, guys. I'm gonna say lightning again. Screw it. Oh, water! You don't want to mix water and lightning. You, you, you get you get a little buzzed. Get it? Get it? Jamaica into a blitzer, into a slugma, into another skiddo reverse holographic. Oh, explode. F. All right, guys, uh, these are the last three packs of the night. I had to do some quick math. I was like, uh, did I get 12? And don't forget, guys, those channel points. You can, you can call. You can, I'll throw energies in your name. I'll say Nolan or Madison 10 times. It's kind of weird, but, you know, no buddies. Oh, almost, almost open Pikachu. We're going to get to take a Zerud. The rude boy of the bunch. The guy who I just really don't want any more V cards because I have like three. And yeah. Whew. I'm still, I'm still a little bit like adrenaline buzz from that Leon uh, far. So. Oh my God. Ugh. Come on, guys. Uh, mm, see you later, Polly. Uh, come on. Mama, Mama, help me. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, hope Pikachu's in here. I, I always I always have an inkling and belief that there was a really good card in the packs so that were really sealed tight. Granted, just in fact, we just the machine was heated there for too long. Oh, uh, uh, my camera. Come on, X Split VCAM. Why you do this? Oh, wait, there we go. It's back up. Let's do it. Yeah, I really got to get Epoch. Ooh, say soup 10 times. <laughs> no. <laughs> soup. 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 There you go, Dumpy. Thanks for redeeming your points tonight. Did I do that? Yeah, fire. Whoops. Smooth Brain, Jono, Electric, Charmeleon, Telescopic Sight, into a Sandal, we got a C Dot, into a Pick a Peck, into a Mud Bray, to a Joltik, into a Reverse Holographic Eevee, who's just a common, into a Shiftry, regular rare. box sucks no it's good rainbow rare leon what's up how are you doing what a handsome man uh. yeah, someone someone tipped me 69 bits i was like thanks for the bits and nice <laughs> we all know what that means i've joked around 69 since i was a boy not being a perv it's all about giving and taking equal amounts. Boom. We got a card trick. And guys, okay, I want you guys to guess with me. I mean, only one guessing. What's up? Tell me, what do you guys think is behind this card? Creepy better not say magic. It's not magic the gathering. We got water. 
All right. Fire. Creepy goes goes against Caltain. Don't do that. Don't bet against Caltain. You merely adopted the 69. I've been born into it. <laughs> oh, it's weird. Lightning. Psychic. I'm going to say fighting because we want to keep fighting on. Oh, Psychic. Firewall. You're on fire. Get it? Oh, Nessa. Nuzleaf. Into a wash energy. Into a tallow. Yanma. Whooper. Dende. Dende. Pick, pick. Into a Joltik who might electrocute himself. Granted, he's a lightning Pokemon, so I guess it's fine. And let's see. Let's crack it. Ooh, into a Garbodor. F. All right, guys. You know, I might, I might just do three more packs. I'm good. You know, kind of good. <laughs> <laughs> I might, I might do more. I, I'm good. I can quit whenever I want. Mm. Come on. Let's just go. Give me, give me the cards, baby. All right. I saw, I saw the code card. It was okay. It was a white and green, so it's fine. Code. Magic trick. It's the one turn, one more turn mentality in, in civilization. <sighs> yeah, Zephron, look at that. You missed it. I freaked out. Hopefully stuff, someone clipped it. If not, I will go back and check things out. I literally went crazy. We got Key Beast joining the hunting pack. Everyone in chat, please welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. I do appreciate you coming. Well, hunting Pokemon. That's a trainer. I, I guess we're hunting him. <laughs> fighting energy. Pikachu wants us to keep fighting on, guys. Christine Bath. Hit him on top. Swoobat. Choodle. Wheeloo. Chamiko. Into a Nankata. A Volto. Into a reverse holographic. A Charmeleon. Which I'm actually going to sleeve after because I do need one. And woohoo. Oh my god, chat. Oh my god, chat. Mm, should I end it after this? I don't know. I don't know. I <laughs> Colton, get the camera. Kate is just doing a trick for us. Let's go. Let's get going. Let's see what's behind this card. Let's get some hype in the chat. I just want to see everyone here just spam in the chat because we're all getting excited because this might be the last pack of the night. Let's go. <laughs> oh, it'll be. Fire. That is. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait, I'm going to sleeve this. Got to dance a little bit. <laughs> That's dope. I had to dance. It's that beat dropped. And I was like, mm, back in the club. <sighs> that is sweet. That's a, it's a decent card, but it's a dope card. Full arts, dude. Full arts. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let me show you what an orbital V looks like, actually. Actually, I might as well just show you the big boy version. The jumbo version. It's not the same exactly, but this is what a V cards look like. Just like that. But the um, full arts always look a little bit different. It has a like a little bit a, a weird tinge to it. And they just look a good... Man, what a night. What a night. Chat, should I do one more? I'm good. I'm good for one more. I can stop whenever I want. We're going to do one more. One. We're going to do one more. We'll do one more. 
We're going to open up the rude boy. Zerud. The one who kind of always ruins the day. But he is the nearest Pokemon. So I guess they had to print him a lot. <laughs> and we'll see. Could kill you streak. Eh, it's fine. You know, this is not Call of Duty where someone's just camping in a little corner being a little bitch. Um, and just doing this kill streak. So we're just having fun, man. But it's all good. I, I get your concern. I get your concern. I get your concern. Let's see. Let's see. Come on, guys. Last pack of the night. Tell me, what do you guys think it's going to be? I'm going to say lightning. Because this is the night. Last hack magic. We got Dumpy with lightning. We got Creepy with a fire. And I'm going to say lightning. Dumpy, you my bro. Let's go all oh, water. You're all wrong. Drone Rodham into a Swoobat, Clefairy, Dynamo, Missouri. And the one thing, too, just to mention, you guys, I appreciate every single one of you guys coming and hanging out, seeing what it's all about. Just going to go check things out, see what is going on. Do a Chimeco. Okay, wait, wait, wait I got to stop. Oh, well, Polly's not here anymore, but it's fine. I don't like these realistic Pokemon. Yarn. Yeah. Uh, ooh, ooh, that's a sweet reverse holographic. Zapdos. Nice. Into Lycanroc. Firewater. Oh, wait. Someone knows, right? But this is a nice card. Oh. This, this is a loss. This is not a loss. This is a. That's a nice shiny boy. I, I don't want to say F for this one because this is like, it's good. It's fine. But should I do one more? <laughs> I got the problem. We'll do one more. <laughs> what am I doing? I just saw like three more people come in. I'm like, you know what? Let's, let's, let's show them what's on. All right. That's a great flip a coin. Um, yeah, I'll flip a coin next one. Let's just say that. Firewall, I can stop whenever I want. <laughs> Let the universe decide. Jupe, are you still here? Jupe? Did you leave? Oh, I didn't give up. Jupe, if you can, can you set up a poll to say, should I do one more after this one? <laughs> I'm going to go say lightning. Oh, dang it. Uh, McCargo, League Staff, Kikokorok, Rockruff, Into Wishima, Tribish, Dynamo, Into Globus, Into Wishima, we're crying like a baby. Ooh! <gasps> Oh, it's a V card. It's V card. We're going to end it after this. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. I got, I got, I have to stop. I got to stop. You quit on a high streak. All right, guys, this is last pack magic. We're going to end it off here after this pull. So let's just go. Let's just get going. Let's do this. Let's see what's behind. Where's my holographic. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Oh, oh Galarian. Dimension. Dimension V. It's all right. It's all right. I already have three. It's good. Get the camera. Uh, put the camera away. It's okay. We've seen him before. He's been to the party. We've hunted him. We have claimed Galarian Dimension. The the Dementian, the Medit, whatever, the Snowboy. <laughs> Forever now, this guy's Snowboy. We got Monkey Boy. This is a Snow. I guess Monk Snow Monkey Boy. I don't know. Looks all right. Looks good. You can't complain, and it's not bad. So you know what? End of the day. It's a nice card. 
All right, we're gonna end it here. We actually got a pretty decent card, so I Jono needs to to make make some make some better life decisions. Now nah, it's good. It's good. I get to hang out with you guys. I get to open up Pokemon cards. You get to see me act like a goof. I am, as you. Know, I like to cut loose. If you see me at work, I am a little bit kind of like hard. You know, make really direct things, but you know, I mean the best. But yeah, it's it's fun. It's fine. It's good. We had a good night. Let's just do a quick recap of the night. <coughs> All right. So last card we pulled. We got we got Snowboy V. There was a Rainbow Rare. We got Colossal V into an Orbital V Full Art. And we got to a Zamazenta amazing rare into a leon rainbow rare the biggest pull of the night and whoever clipped that please let me know i'm gonna post that onto youtube and also twitch clips so we had a good night you know last the last night was kind of garbo but you know what are you gonna do and also we got a new couple more hunting pack people or hunting members with us and hunting pikachu and also the big chunk of chew because i think i'm gonna keep pulling vivid voltage i and everything and you know what also i gotta sum up for all you new viewers it was a legit pack it was a legit pokemon uh booster box it's just upside down oh wait let me let me go back to my main camera it's just a upside down so it's just some sleepy guy going, uh, and then he packed upside down. Chase knew it. Firewall called it. And you know, no harm, no foul. So a legitimate pack. I'm really glad that everything works. Sick pulls, fam. Thank you, man. Um, yeah, it's like, it's a good night. We had a good time. You can see me collapse onto the floor. And it was great. So... I will buy more cards when I got. I'm gonna message you right now, going, "Hey man, I need more Pokemon Vivid Voltage. Can hook me up." <sighs> Anyways, I hope you guys had some fun tonight. Um, I'm gonna close that with my PSA. Stick around though. Uh, we're gonna raid someone. I think I think maybe Chase is on or Jonesy or Nolan. Uh, so we'll see what's up. So, but I do have to say this: make sure you keep Pokemon as a need. It is no, <laughs> that's bad. Make sure your Pokemon is kept as a want. It's not a need. You don't need to live off Pokemon. It's just a fun kind of thing that we do collecting. So if you need to pay your mortgage, you need to pay for your car insurance, you need to pay for your rent, you need to pay for groceries, pay for all the things you need to survive. If you have anything left over, pay yourself. That means saving. If you have anything extra from that, Dead by Pokemon. Have some fun. But hey, if you can't, if you can't, thank you guys for hanging out. You know, just watch me do it because I like hanging out. I don't like pulling cards alone. That's why I originally do it. I do this to help practice my public speaking. Hopefully, you guys like me hyping things up, even though they're so monotonous like this. I am drinking soda stream water and I need to replace this CO2 cartridge. Ah. So, but yeah, we're, we're just hanging out, having fun. And I do appreciate every single one of you guys checking me out, checking out the stream. I only stream for like an hour or so. I might start playing more games. I did play Apex with the, the boys last night. And yeah, we're just having a good time. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to end it there. So... Catch me. I think I'm going to come Thursday. We might pull more Pokemon cards out of that pack. Or we might try Sun and Moon. I did buy 12 Sun and Moon packs. And yeah, it's a good time. So let me just open this up. I see Contra up. Let's read him. Oh, who's playing Sonic the Hedgehog? That. And we're going to go there. The counter is down. Is 9, 8, Seven, six. Oh, well, I'm, I'm going kind of crazy slow. One. Let's read them now. Boop, boop. Yo, 
what's up, Jono? Raiden at the party and I. Yo, was that box uh, a fake or not? I caught the start of your stream. It's a legit box. Yeah, so it was like everything was just rainbow rare. Nice. Oh, okay. What the fuck? <laughs> Yo, we're literally just playing Tetris? Was this in the original?